one of the greatest Lucha Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying exemplified. The following contest is a tag team steel cage match. Introducing first from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. You know, WrestleMania is always special for Rey. He became WWE Champion for the first time at WrestleMania 23. Latino Heat! And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! So many historic memories of Latino Heat. I know our colleague JBL speaks so highly of the respect he holds for Eddie Guerrero, one of the all-time greats. Well, Eddie Guerrero was always seen as an underdog. Granted, he would cheat on occasion to even the playing field. But hey, how can he not get behind a guy like Latino Heat? Indeed, the largest superstar in the history of sports entertainment. And from Grenoble, France, weighing in at 520 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. This man played a major role in building WrestleMania into the spectacle that it is today as part of the biggest main event ever. Two brands that are synonymous with each other, Corey. WrestleMania and Andre the Giant. Not your normal opponent, Andre the Giant. I have no idea how you would go to battle with this guy. A truly awesome figure to behold. Six foot four, over 550 pounds. And from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! Yokozuna, very familiar with success at WrestleMania. Defeated Bret Hart for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 9. Yeah, but Yoko also owns the dubious distinction of being the only man to win and lose the WWE title at the same WrestleMania. Right. Well, I'd venture to say that Yokozuna plans on winning here tonight. Unfortunately for his opponent, all of Yokozuna's weight and power is about to be focused on them. The door is now locked, and it is time for steel cage action. Fighting inside the structure, we see Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And the other team across the ring will be Andre the Giant and Yokozuna. Now these superstars are realizing exactly what they've gotten themselves into. The steel cage leaves you with nowhere to run away from conflict. Only 
choice is to face your competition in a DDT. Ducking out of trouble. Breathtaking head scissor takedown. He's making Hayes climbing up the cage wall. It's going to take a lot of willpower to make it all the way to the top. Making the big climb to victory. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, God. Makes him pay with a counter. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Trying to make their way out of the cage. He went right into that turn. offers a big advantage for anyone willing to use it as a weapon. But is there a disadvantage to the structure, too? Well, Paul, I can tell you one thing that will be hindered by the cage, and that's any sort of speed advantage. Any and all attempts to pick up the base are going to be confined in the ring. Mentally and physically exhausted. 
lifted now. And this is uh, all done up here. Got to wonder if the stamina is there to make it out of the way. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Ooh, man. Yeah. Trying to make their way out of the cage. Nasty impact. Unceremoniously sent right back down to the canvas. Yeah, he's going to have to try something else now. And he once again proving he has what it takes to go all the way, no matter where the the toughness on display here tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. For my money, these two just might be the best tag team on the roster today.